Ranger NSX. NSX. The old one, of course, being the first ever Japanese supercar, brought reliability to the market, really changed the entire industry. They really went for it and tried to make this car just as game-changing, and I think they did a very good job of it. This is actually Exotic Racing's only hybrid electric supercar, meaning this thing has a lot in common with the Toyota Prius, but of course its end goal, a lot different. We have two electric motors up front and one on the crank behind us on that V6 twin turbo. Staying true to the original NSX, this car is equipped with a mid-engine V6. Uh, the V6 alone puts out around 500 horsepower, of course a lot more than the old one uh, with those twin turbos on it. But the hybrid electric motors, the three, uh, um, the two on the front and the one on the crank, produce an extra 70 horsepower, bringing our total up to about 573 horsepower to the wheels. Very, very fast car, very, very advanced, and as well as very balanced. The battery for all of the electronics in this car is located very central, keep that weight centered on the car, allow for a very well balanced driving experience. This car also has the fastest zero to 60 time out of any of our cars. Something really, really cool about this car as well is it is also probably one of the most technologically advanced. The car in front of us, of course, is that Nissan GTR. A lot of people like to compare the two. It's a very easy comparison to make, simply because that's a V6 twin turbo and so is this. A lot of people say that's a moving computer and it's not really a car, but I beg to differ. I think this car is even more advanced. With this car, it has a fully electromagnetic dampening system. Um, the brakes are regenerative for the battery. The twin turbo system is aided by the electric motors, meaning there's absolutely zero turbo lag, as well as the fact that we have true torque vectoring, meaning that the front engines on this car help steer the car through the corner, make the car even more agile than an ordinary Because it is, all this technology isn't cheap when it comes to the weight. Um, around two tons, almost as heavy as the GTR, but you can see that GTR up ahead of us leaning quite a bit on the way out of the corners. On the opposite end of the spectrum, we're not leaning at all. The car corner is very flat thanks to that dampening system as well as the fact that this is one of the lowest center of mass cars we have here in Exotics. As you can hear those twin turbos starting to spool up. 570 horsepower down the front straight. I mean, you can expect to reach somewhere between 120 and uh, 125 miles an hour at the end here. Very, very quick car, one of our faster models at the Straits. Overall, if you're looking for a good car to drive, this is definitely not the hardest car we have. It makes it very easy to get the most out of it. Alright guys, it's a pleasure taking you around the track in our NSX. Hope to see you all out very soon. Um, have a great day.